Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're making a simple broccoli bake. I'm being a bit of a cheat today and I'm using microwave veggies. I don't have lots of time and my daughter's coming home from university and she's requested broccoli bake and chicken. So let's start cooking. So this is the microwave broccoli bags that I've got from Woolworths. I'm really being lazy and cheating today. And this is just going to steam for seven minutes in the bag in the microwave. And then I'm going to make the sauce and bake this for 20 minutes. So let's start cooking. So I'm using a large pan today. I'm just going to wait for this to heat up and then we're going to add our butter. So I'm using 75 grams of butter. It has to be butter and not margarine or, or any spreads. And we're just going to let this melt. To this I'm going to be adding two heaped tablespoons of mazina. Just going to turn the flame down and give this a mix. So to this I'm going to be adding some full cream milk, I would say about 750 ml or you could wing it and see how it is. Just going to be pouring a little bit at first and turning the heat up. Just going to give this a mix, avoiding any lumps. You can see it's thickening already. So I like using a non-stick pan when I'm making any sauces because you don't want burns and lumps. Just adding everything in here. We might need more and we're also using some fresh cream. The cream will just give it a nice velvety texture. I'm just going to be adding some salt and pepper. Going in with salt and pepper. And I'm just going to allow this to thicken. I'm adding some freshly grated nutmeg. You could use powdered nutmeg, but I prefer using a fresh one its flavor is more potent and I'd say about quarter teaspoon you can't add too much or it's going to give it a bitter taste sorry about Bella she's barking there in the background the nutmeg makes all the difference So as you can see, this is the nutmeg that I've used. And that's enough, using my tiny little grater. Just gonna give this a mix. Our broccoli is ready. Just 
I mean, we're just gonna get our cheese ready now. I have some grated Gouda cheese. We're just gonna add this in, and I'd say about one cup going in. It's gonna give this a mix. As you can see, it's thickening up quite nicely. And we're almost ready to add our fresh cream. So I've turned my flame down, and as you can see, it's thickened up quite a bit with the cheese as well. Apologies for Bella. I'm just adding a little bit more salt and pepper. And then we're going in with three quarter cups of fresh cream. Just gonna let this cook for another two minutes. So our broccoli has been cooked. Just gotta be careful for that steam not to burn yourself. And now we're ready to add our broccoli. Just gonna toss it in straight from our bag. And the other one, because we love broccoli bakes. And I'm just gonna give this a light mix. And coating this properly and giving our stove a little boost there. So this is now cooked. I just want to let that heat up for about 60 seconds. And then we're ready to assemble for the oven. And we're going to bake that for 20 minutes. So I'm using an oven proof, proof dish and I'm just pouring everything in here. It's looking good. Just going to sprinkle with some cheese. Some breadcrumbs just for some extra crunch. And some salt and pepper. And that's ready to go in the oven, 200 degrees for 20 minutes. So our broccoli bake is now ready. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and I hope you're gonna give it a try. Please remember to subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the bell. Until our next video, take care, bye.